cuts. The East Syracuse Manoa Youth Sports Soccer Program is only a few years old, but it's already attracting hundreds of participants. But ESM Sports says the program is a drain on other sports teams and needs to go. Now some parents aren't happy with that decision. New at 5 tonight, Jared Worksman tells us why the program is being cut and how parents are reacting. Soccer is the world sport, and it continues to gain popularity in homes like the Shorts across the U.S. I coach two soccer teams, and I assist and coach two basketball teams. Jason Short coaches for East Syracuse Manoa Youth Sports, which offers a number of sports leagues, many of which his daughter Samantha plays in. Um, soccer, baseball, softball, and basketball. But now ESM Youth Sports may cancel its spring soccer season, a popular addition that has attracted more than 400 youths. I think I'm very disappointed in it, simply because it was, uh, the kids love it. Um, they're very involved. It gives them a chance to move around and uh, to learn the fundamentals of a sport that is the most popular in the world. Brian Wall is the co-president of ESM Youth Sports. He says the spring soccer program was draining kids from other sports, in some cases making it hard to feel the team. In the best interest of all the sports, uh, we need to have one recreational season per year for each sport. ESMU Sports already has a fall soccer session, and Wall says that's not going anywhere. But he and the rest of the youth sports board want young kids to try a range of sports to cultivate well-rounded and healthy athletes so they have more options in junior high and high school. But Short says the kids and their parents should be allowed to make that choice. If a child wants to play soccer, they should be able to. And if they don't want to play soccer, and they're not interested in basketball, now they have nothing. Wall says because of parental concerns, the decision to discontinue ESMU Sports Spring Soccer has been tabled until the board meets again on Sunday, February 10th. In Manoa, Jared Worksma, Action News 3.